Hello there and welcome to Sandbox Development Portal. Here you can find our comprehensive API documentation and convenient tool to simulate integration. To start integration process, please sign up at dev.sandbox.com. Provide your first name. Provide your last name. Provide your email. That would be 777. Oops. Uh, provide your phone number, company name, and of course password. Okay, done. Once you're in, you need to uh, complete basic setup, go to credentials, and provide Google API key, first of all. update successful then you need to go to bill and details and provide credit card for test environment you need to use uh, test credit card like four thousand four zeros four zero 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 seven seven uh, expiry date some future date and any uh, CVS code save and the last thing to set up is to provide a webhook URL if you need it uh, and turn this feature on. So Sandbox will send order status, status uh, updates after every event like courier assigned, uh, courier arrived to pick up location, picked up, drop off. Uh, dropped off or like deliver it uh, and also it will um, include uh, images proving the delivery now after settings are done you will see here verified and you can simulate an order and test the integration you can create uh, click create uh, order and on the right side let me move myself a bit to be different location so on the right side you will see the endpoint calling you will see request body correct uh, request body and response body and in the middle um, you'll find uh, input fields for required parameters but completed uh, list of all parameters and descriptions you will find in the documentation following this link it's important to understand that um, current version of simulator supports only one one to one and one to many uh, delivery type but sandbox api is much more flexible and more functional and supports uh, other delivery types and functionalities such as many to one delivery uh, or batching and delivery based on time windows our API suits well uh, for online stores, marketplaces, and different web-based ERP and CRM systems. So if you are looking for something that is not included in this version, don't hesitate to send your request using contact form on support page. We are extremely flexible. So let's get back to order creation process. Uh, and let me uh, create, uh, generate a quote request and provide, first I need to provide pickup address, then I need to provide uh, drop-off address, let it be two drop-offs, one in sunny well, another in mountain view. Uh, next field is declared value, actually it's not a mandatory field, but you can use this parameter to specify the value of your parcel for insurance purposes. Then you need to choose um, the size of package, let it be heavy load, like 150 pounds, and then based on that I have to define the transport type, let it be pickup, I'm fine with it. And the next step is to choose pickup time. It can be urgent or scheduled or on any uh, a later date. Okay, clicking next and providing other uh, details for this uh, shipment. So the title, let it be, I don't know, 
TV sets. Um, let it be fragile or something, I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, now I have to provide um, sender's contact details. Let it be sweet, like, I don't know, one. And Alex, my phone number, uh, description, like, be careful, don't crash it. Uh, another, um, like, uh, now I need to provide um, recipients contact details, their suite number will be 100 at this point, and the name of recipient is Kelly, for example. Let it be my number again, description, I don't know, call, Upon arrival, uh, and the details for second recipient that will be four, that will be Jack. Uh, I'll put my phone number in description. I don't know, knock, knock the door, for example, right? Knock the door, and actually, email parameter used to. Uh, authorize you in the system and it is set by default after you created account now I'm uh, actually have the right uh, completed request but you can copy to your system and test from there but now <clears throat> we are simulating here so basically we are doing the call of uh, this endpoint order drop off quote Okay, let's calculate the price. And now we receive the response. In the response, we have order price. We see it here. This is actually the main data that we need uh, from Sandpick side. And from here, actually, uh, I can generate uh, to place an order uh, at Sandpix by clicking on create order. But before, I want to uh, give a tip to a driver. Uh, this We have this parameter uh, within uh, next request. Okay, let it be $5 and then clicking create an order. And at this point, we are calling orders drop off and placing the order. The payload for this request is pretty much simple. It contains three parameters, API token generated with previous request. Uh, with, that contains all information about the delivery email for authorization and tip amount uh, uh, of tip given. Okay, so now we can go to simulator and uh, simulator page and see the list of order orders created. I can find this order here and I, right now it has the status paid order. I can go inside and simulate the whole chain of delivery. Uh, let me assign the driver. Now the status has, status has changed. Now let me uh, push the driver uh, to the state of arrival to pick up location. Uh, let me pick up and now uh, the items are in transit are on delivery let me uh, deliver first one let me deliver the second one and actually in this way i can complete the order now i can go to webhook page and here i can find all uh, webhook notifications with all information sent to my end to uh, url provided previously so in the webhook notification again i can find all information about the order uh, statuses proof of deliveries like uh, contact details of a driver etc well uh, after successful testing here in simulator you can integrate uh, api with your system and then request uh, simply request authentication keys uh, from production uh, from our support team and actually go live I think that's it and thank you and bye bye